Okay, so we're gonna make the red chili sauce for the chilaquillas. And what we've done is taken a dry chili pod and we've boiled it and they've become rehydrated. And, and so they're gonna go into the blender. You wanna wait till they get a bright, bright red. The beauty in that red chili is now part of our sauce. And we're gonna smash the sauce and push through this blended pulp. These are the seeds and some of the skin. And we're gonna boil that with a little bit of grapeseed oil to produce our chili oil. And this is just a really great little finishing oil uh, for the dishes as they leave the window. So we're gonna take the pureed chili that has a little bit of water in it. Anything that we're making with water, always using a filtered water system. And so always cook with a good kosher salt. We don't use table salt here. We don't use an iodized table salt ever, ever. It's either kosher, um, sea salt. Um, one of my favorite herbs to cook with is a dry Mexican oregano. This has like all the dry pods in it. It's got a lot of whole leaf. It has some stems. But when you go to break this up, it releases an oil. And that's what you want, is you always want to grind the, the herbs right at the point of using them. Everyone eats with their eyes. That's why it's imperative that all, all of our dishes go out looking like they are just perfectly manicured. We never, I miss them. We never send anything out that looks half done. This is a finished plate of chicken enchiladas right here. So we've got the microgreens, fresh spring onion, the queso fresco, our homemade sauce, and then they're all rolled with a filling and we put another Oaxacan cheese inside of it and a jack cheese. So this plate has three cheeses in an order of enchiladas because it makes a difference. These microgreens are grown locally in Coachella Valley. The flowers are grown by Aziz Farms. He's local also. Another uh, favorite spice that I love to cook with is the cumin. Cumin is this kind of gives it like this earthy note. We use this for our enchiladas. We use it for our chilaquillas. We use it for large trays of enchiladas. Um, and it's the base sauce for some of our other sauces that we make here. So we, this has to, is like the first step. This is the first step. It's a lengthy process, but it's also really important. And it's beautiful, I mean, you do get this on your shirt, it's gonna stain. <laughs> so it's a real deal. So what she's making right now is the huevos ranchero. So it gets the black beans, and these tortillas are cactus corn tortillas. Black beans, it gets the green sauce, it gets the turkey chorizo. Then when they finish that, it's gonna get a little bit of the queso fresco. This is our onion and date jam. We use local dates to make the date jam. It just gives it that little bite of sweet, and which is so good when you're having a salty dish. Um, on top of that, then we're gonna put um, the avocado down, and then we're gonna use some poached eggs. We always use cage-free poached eggs all the time. It's gonna get a little of the local Michael Greens that are grown for us, a little bit of the chili oil, and a little bit of the spring onion and now it's ready to go. It's worth eating. It should have a lot of detail. I've eaten in plenty of restaurants where you go and they just don't care. They don't care what it looks like on the plate and that's not okay because we eat with our eyes again. It's gotta look beautiful, it's gotta look delicious, it's gotta look fresh. So we're working at a fast pace and it's all gotta come off the line looking just like that every single time. This is our grapeseed oil and this is what we saute in. Grapeseed is a little more expensive but it's worth it, especially health-wise and especially for flavor. So we're gonna put about two tablespoons in the skillet, and then we're gonna use these white sweet onions that have been just like a rough chop, and those are gonna go in the skillet. We wanna get those a little toasted. That's why I like to start with like a, high, a skillet that's really hot. You want them to have some high heat, and you want them to get a little color on them. We're gonna put some of these chips. These chips are house made, okay? We cut them, we fry them in our little fryer, and we season and, and salt them with kosher salt. Okay, that's, that's, that's exactly the right way to do a chip. Um, they're made fresh every day. We bag them, we sell them. Uh, you know, our business was started on chips and salsa. It's the foundation, it's the cornerstone. So today I'm gonna make these, and they can uh, make them a variety of ways. We can make them vegetable, uh, we can make them with chicken, or we can make them with pork. So today I'm gonna make them uh, with pork and uh, we're gonna put the green sauce on them because we've already talked about the red sauce. And for me, that goes right up on the top. A large ladle full of the green sauce. Put the pork on it. 
And my whole thing is to shake the skillet so there's movement on the bottom of the pan. So when then it comes out, it stays uniform. I don't like everything to get displaced. That was like a two minute thing. Um, a little bit of green onion, a little bit of the queso fresco, a little bit of our date jam on top. And the avocado gets put here in the center. Put the egg right on, there we go, right onto our chilaquiles here. A little bit of our local greens, a little flowers that are grown for us, a little bit of the chili oil just for color and flavor, and it's ready to go.